for coming to watch my video today. So today we're going to be cleaning and decorating the porch and I was out front trying to do this and everybody just kept driving by and the neighbors came home and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go hide out back. So here I am. Um, so here I am. <laughs> I do. Look at that blue sky. Oh, I love it. The sun stopped burning us like fire and now it rained for a couple days and the temperatures are cooler and it's, it's just so nice. I love this time of the year. So today I have my little helper. Uh, she's learning how to iron here and the fabric that she is ironing I got at the Goodwill for $3.99. It's about a yard and I'm going to make two pillow covers uh, for the porch. This is not outdoor fabric so I'm not going to leave the pillows out there. Um, I do have two outdoor pillows that are going to stay on the porch. We are going to be doing a few other little projects to help uh, have a budget friendly porch. So for my pillow covers, I just like to put the pillow right on the fabric and kind of measure it that way. <laughs> you can be more precise if you want, but this works for me. And so I'm using hot glue and it's just really simple and easy. Okay, so I'm going to turn this fabric the other way. I'm just gonna show you that this little part right here, so this can be kind of a pillow, and I can, I mean not a pillow, like a pocket. So I can make a pillow cover without sewing part of it. <laughs> is that seriously their car across the street? Or is that mine? I think it's across the street, but is it my car? Yeah, it's across the street. Oh, for Pete's sake, shut the door. <laughs> Never fails. That, uh, they're not home, so I don't know. I guess it'll go off eventually. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip this around, and then I'm, I left a little bit on this side that's not going to unravel. I'll probably safety pin it or something. This is for outside. Not everybody can afford to go out and spend a lot of money to make over their porches or decorate um, and sometimes it's just fun to create things with your own ideas and your own hands and with the resourcefulness to find like the materials and things that you need you know as um, on a budget God created us in his image he took the dust of the ground and made people and we are like him in that way he made, he made us creative beings and so it's really fun when we get to be like God and create things whether it's decorating you know making the pillow cover or whatever your creative outlet is you can know that it was just built into us
we're just taking these. Uh, what are these called? Flowers? Yeah, they're flowers. They're um, lavender, I think, fake lavender. So we're just gonna reuse this. Ow! Oh gosh. We're just gonna reuse this little, I wanna call it a wreath. <laughs> I know it's a candle ring thing, but I don't care. I tried to go to the Dollar Tree and find like one of their grapevine wreath, small one to, to use and I couldn't. And then I remembered my, my daughter had given me this a while back. And I thought, well, we can use that. And I can't get that stick stem out. Yeah. Oh, the stem's stuck. Whoop. And then I think I'm just gonna turn it over so it looks all fresh and new. Ew. So this was um, from Walmart. I like the little orange velvet pumpkin. I thought it was cute. I think it was like a dollar eighteen or something cheap like that. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep this really simple. I think I'm just gonna glue or not glue really but stick this onto that to make a tiny little yeah I could I mean somebody could use it for a candle but I actually I think I'm gonna use it for like a little tiny wreath. What do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah okay. And what do you guys think of it? So that was really easy and that cost like a dollar eighteen. So I'm using a pipe cleaner because I'm not a crafty person, so I don't have like wire and all kinds of stuff laying around. That might be like too noticeable. We'll see. I am just spray painting my thrifted table that I got in the spring. I'm using black spray paint for the first coat because I had that on hand and I had a, like a half a can of brown paint that I wanted to use. So to keep it cheap and so that I didn't have to buy any more paint, I just used black for the first coat. So as you can see, gorgeous. Well, I did take some stuff off, so sweeping, and it kind of got wet on here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna clean the porch. <laughs> Turn around. Sometimes you just have to use what you have, and for me, what I have are a lot of these zinnias growing in the flower beds, and they're so pretty, and I'm going to use these today. These flowers are so cute. There's a few more here. Two
grew a lot of marigolds this year, had a lot volunteer, but actually he grew these from seed. So I thought I would go ahead and take these marigolds, some of them, and I'm going to plant them in a couple of pots and put them on my porch because marigolds can, well, we're in California and they can last through the fall. I'm going to put them in these strawberry pots. And this one doesn't even have any flowers. Why did I grab this one? Well, I hope it has some buds getting ready to bloom. I'm going to put another one in here and I'm going to make sure it has flowers on it. So I thought this was a good cheap way to have some fall color and not spend a lot of money. Usually every year I will go and go to Walmart and get like a couple of their little dollar mums. Well, I didn't have dollar mums this year. I don't have anything small. And I didn't want to pay 10 or 20 or 30 dollars or whatever it is for mums. So I saw these out there just blooming away happily. And I thought, well, why can't I just use my own flowers? This time they're orange. I think they'll look pretty. <laughs> if I can get a hold, Doug. Deep enough here. They're pretty big plants. I think that'll look nice on the porch. Um, so I didn't want to go to the grocery store and buy bigger pumpkins because we always support our little, uh, what is it, 4-H pumpkin patch where they grow with the pumpkins. So we always go there every year. It's so much fun to run around and find the right one. I think this plant fills this pot up pretty nicely. Now we've got some of these little strawberry holes. I don't know what to do. Um, if I can find a plant that was small enough, I might stick one in there. for filming and watching my video. Bye! Yeah. No, not, not you. Them. People watching. It's <laughs> watching right now. We're making it. Yeah, I know, but they will watch this and it will be like they're here right now. Like, I'm talking to them. Okay, so... Ah, stuck! <laughs> okay. Those are hair cutting scissors. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for coming and watching my Hi, welcome back. And that you try to decorate. Thank you for watching my. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, think about. Oh, if you haven't subscribed. Okay. So. Thank you.